finally, the federal government has ordered the release of a former national security advisor, Sambuda Suki, and Omoyele Shori, the convener of Revolution Now. And Nigeria has told the United States to face their own issues. This is Plus Politics, and I am Mary Annako. The spirit of Christmas seems to be at work as Nigeria's Justice Minister and Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, has ordered the release of the Sahara Reporters publisher. But however, what next after this release? And joining us uh, to discuss this is Dayo Kolodi and he, Kaya Dia, beg your pardon, and he is a political technocrat. It's good to have you join us. Good being here on a Christmas Day Eve. Yes, I mean, I see your red bow tie, more like you look like Santa's uh, <laughs> help. Yes, yes Santa. now. This is from Santa Claus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let, let, let's move on to serious issues. So. This is a story that is breaking. I'm sure every media house is on this matter. We're talking about the fact that this federal government has ordered the release of Omoyele Shore, and not just him, but the former NSA boss, Sambo Dasuki. And the first question would be, whatever happened? Yeah, it's, you remember that, though? I think it was here. When uh, we're talking about the red alert that uh, the DSS, DSS were that. talking about, and I said, look, why won't, why won't there be red alert? The way people are feeling as regards the government is not encouraging. It's not something that is positive. You now asked me how. And I told you, look, how about all the detainees that have been given bail? and they refused releasing them. I mentioned Dasuki, I mentioned Shoure, I mentioned uh, Bakari, I mentioned that guy in uh, the Ayade guy. Abajalingo. Abajalingo. And I also mentioned uh, El Zazaki. And I think that same day, Shoure was released. Now, if you, if you had watched all that had been happening in the country, since that red alert, you will see that people like us and then the international community have been talking about it, especially as it's concerned uh, our human rights. Aside from that, we have also been seeing ports of demonstrations by activists, I mean, human rights uh, activists here and there. And I'm sure they too will have been seeing it. We, oh, they got to do something. And that's why they're now saying, okay, release these guys. Hmm. Even though, even though they also have to respect the bail conditions, which I, which I also subscribe to. Because when, when, when you are being bailed from the court, there are some conditions that follows especially conditions that has to do with them not coming out to come and heat up the polity. Now, let's talk about the conditions because you mentioned it. Now, Malami, the AGF, has said that the decision was made to release them in compliance with the bill granted by two courts. And he went on to say that the two defendants are enjoined to observe the terms of the bill and refrain from engaging in any act that is inimical to public peace and national security, as well as the ongoing trial, which will run its course in accordance with the laws of the land. Yeah. So there definitely will be bail conditions. But for those who are watching and have no idea why these two are being held, let's start with the one who's been held the longest, the former uh, NSA boss and how his court case has, you know, fared up until now. You see, the you can see me trying to beam some smiles. That of the former uh, NSA uh, Dasuki is more of political. How do you mean? Money than is, that of, mo than according that of to the Chure, courts, monies were yeah, diverted. Money was diverted. But has it, been, has it been the only person that have been charged with corruption cases? 
I mean, with the corruption case. But then we. There are but, all but, those. But do we not need a scape? I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm not holding brief for the yeah. government. Yeah. But if we keep saying, oh, why hold this person? Is he the first to do it? Then we're never going to fight corruption. Mm, that's that's not what I'm saying. That, that's what not exactly what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, but you are saying we should look at the cases of the two, Shore and Dasuki. And I'm telling you that there are two different cases. That of, that of Shore is being pinned on felony, while this one is on corruption. And that corruption Shore, Shore is held for treason. Treason, treason Reasonable and felony. Um, well. Treasonable and felony offense. All right? While well, this one is on corruption, but but for us, students of history, we know that there is a kind of one uh, uh, politics about it. Then we're going to see also see a, a uh, an aspect of revenge. Revenge. What do you mean by Only, that? Yeah. You should remember. You should remember the other time when there was a coup. The the Babangida coup, uh, when uh, the present president was removed from government. Who who went to arrest him? But these things. It was Asuki. But it could be a coincidence. It could be. I call, hear call saying, what? Again, I'm not standing brief for the president. No, what we are saying, what I'm saying, what we are saying is we are looking at issues. And there is no how you if can it, talk about today without talking about yesterday. If it were revenge, I mean, if you're saying it was revenge, then there would have been nothing on Dasuki. But in this case, he in terms is of, allegedly involved with monies. In terms of... If he, it was revenge or a witch hunt of sorts, he would be, in his terms hands would of, be clean, right? In terms of... We have seen cases whereby people that are being charged with corruption are being billed by the court and they are being released. Why was Dasuki's own different? Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Why was Dasuki's own different? Then we, we now need to look at some other adjoining variables. Okay? That is where we now see Politica. That's where we now see a kind of a revenge. Yes. That's, that's when you see a kind of revenge. Do you say what? You're saying we see. I don't see Sure. It. Oh, probably, probably at that time... You 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 have not you have not gone back what, to history. What, you have not gone to your to your history to be able to analyze it. But when an issue happens, you have to look at some variables so that you'll be able to explain it. So we are now saying perhaps, perhaps this or that. So it is never we now put of, them on but test. In all of this, for example, let me paint a simple picture. If I say my teacup is missing. Oh, not this. And it does have Plus TV on it. And there was coffee in it. Yes. But it is missing. Mm. And that coffee or that teacup mm. is found in your custody. Yes. With coffee half full, mm. meaning that you have drank out, out of it. Mm. Of course, you're complicit. Mm. But if I I'm say... I'm not. I'm just... Hold on. Hold on. But if... I might be. I'm just saying. But if that... If I said my coffee cup is missing and you stole it... And then we come and we don't find it in your custody, then your hands are clean. I would have nothing to pin on you. Even if I had a grievance of sorts against you, I would have nothing on you. Mm. But in this case, mm. for him to be kept for this long, mm. did, did the DSS, did security operatives find anything on Dasuki? Hence the reason why these cases have lasted this long. Then let me also put it to you. Why releasing him now? It's a question. I, I'm also putting it to you. Why releasing him now? But you have to answer because my question. Because the issue is, the issue is, this guy has been, has been held for a very long time. They have been asking you to release this guy. Even, I think they, even they even went to a coerced court along the line. And this guy was being asked to be released. Why was he not released? It's a very big question. Now, why are you now releasing him at this point? Is, is, there, is there any court saying it or recent that he should be released? No. So that means, peradventure, you have now seen that, yes, I have had 
enough of my own revenge on him. So you're saying perhaps because so if, if because if, because there are, like question, the there, are, there are questions that that people are obviously asking. Why now? Why release exactly? Why release Dasuki now and Strawberry on Christmas Eve? Some people are saying, well, it's a Christmas present. Some people are saying, could there be more to it? I mean, the Suki was released one day, and the next day he was taken back into custody. What should Nigeria, should we be holding our breast at this point? But, Mark, you, you know, it's not even only, only Dasuki and Shogure. Elsa, excuse me, Elsa Zaki tree is still there. Well, but the why, two not, why not the also two with Elsa Zaki? The two Zaki? people who have been released so far. No, that's what I'm saying. Why not also with Elsa Zaki? Because when, when I heard that news, I was thinking that maybe the newscaster or the person reporting missed out Elza Zaki. So I have to go to various platforms to check it. Only the two of them. Why not also telling Ayadi to allow uh, uh, the other guy to go home? But, but you know that states are sovereign, just as the federal government or of a country is sovereign. A federal government cannot tell a state what to do. But can advise. The attorney general can advise. That's why they call. But that's subject that's to. Why, but, but whatever the outcome is, is subject to what the governor thinks is best, that's right? That's what I'm saying. They can advise. And if they had advised. Should they, that they be should. the job of the federal government or should that be the job of civil society as they have been hounding governments? See, I'm coming, I'm coming back to that of civil society. I'll be coming back to that of the civil society. All right? On the premise of what happened yesterday, good enough. I'm not saying we shouldn't come together to fight for injustices in our country. Should it be only sure? No. Abajalingo is also there. Abajalingo also belongs to this place. Why are we not joining all these things together? It should be joined together. Agba Jalingo, El Zazaki, Showore, Dasuki. Because nobody knows whose turn is going to be tomorrow. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. why, sh why should it be? Why should it be just Showore? So my question, like you always throw it back to me, why is civil society not doing their job? Especially in this country. <sighs> yes, we could, we could thank a few people who have been protesting on um Shore's case so on his matter but what about the other people who are being illegally held you see without with all intents and purposes and without pre, being uh, prejudicial to a very large extent the civil society has slept off since the beginning of this administration since the beginning of this administration, the civil society has slept off. Not until when this issue of Shogure arose. That is even making some of us to think that, okay, even those people that are saying that are now claiming civil society activities and all that, they are still part of the calculations or the structure of Shogure. Not really. The old civil society as it used to be. So where are they? What is ah. keeping them? Because where? I always use this, I always Matthew. I always say this because um for me it's the best uh, analogy for this situation. In the US, and I'm sure people are tired of hearing this, the <laughs> civil society runs the system. Yeah. They cuff and the government catches cold. Yeah. But in Nigeria, it's the other way around. In fact, unfortunately, I'm sorry, but civil society is almost non-existent. <sighs> Let's talk about what happened yesterday or two days ago. Uh, a a Shoare follower and some civil society people went out to protest for the release of Shoare. And there was to, a to drop a letter. And there to was drop a letter with a and there was, CD. And there was HR. and there were and they were and they were, and they were there for a peaceful process. They were there with placards. Yeah. And another a counter group came who allegedly were pro government groups. And then it it became a fight, and they started beating up the guys on the other hand. And this is not the first time we're seeing pro and anti. 
And I'm wondering to myself, who are these pro guys? And who, whose side are they on? Are they on the people's side? What exactly is their intent? Or have civil society in Nigeria become another campaign tool? I'm sorry if I, no, I th no, I'm being are, offensive, are, but it's no, a question are, that has been on my you mind. Very, you, your assertions are very, very right. Because if it was somebody like me, I've been thinking like that. All right, we knew we knew the way civil society got themselves organized during during the during the tenure of uh, of uh, president uh, former president Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan. We saw we saw activities then, but what are we seeing now? What are we seeing now? Immediately, immediately this government came in. They first of all reduced the prices of uh, petroleum uh, pump. I mean pump price. By a thing five or ten naira or thereabout, within a tickle of a night, the thing was taken from eighty naira or eighty-five naira to one forty-five naira, and the civil society didn't say didn't say a single word. Why? And since then, we have been having infractions, civil rights infractions, and all that without anybody talking until until this were issue. Happened. But we can but we can give credit to the likes of Sarah who have been unstoppable. Sure, they, I, I they, give kudos to Sarah. Yes. Sarah, uh, Sarah, uh, budget yeah. budget it. The N uh, N H D C R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something you like see, that. You Human see rights. all those. Yeah, they, they have been working. All those ones have been working, and you will never see such at this kind of a show or a rally. So you will never see them there. So I'm I'm sincerely I want to know. Why, where do you, what do you think has happened to civil society in Nigeria? Where do you think we lost it? Because if in a democracy, the only tool to get accountability yeah, is, is the protest, civil society. is asking questions, yeah. and CLOs, um, civil, civil society, all of them are the ones who lead the fight or lead the protest. And now in Nigeria, they're almost nowhere to be found, and the ones we see are pro-government protest. What do you think we, we lost yeah, it? Yeah, you see, there are some basics that are difficult to say on air, either we like it or not. So there are some basics very difficult to say on air. That's one. Two, the civil society were the ones that stood up against the former president at that time. That is, uh, is anything aside from Jonathan. Anything mm -hmm. aside from Jonathan. They also joined that campaign then. And here we are. All right? And for you to have been able to join that campaign, to say yes, we all know what will have happened. Okay? So let's also leave that aside. What exactly would have happened? Sorry? Uh, well, it's, What it's, do you mean by we all know what would have happened? We all know. I don't know. For, I'm, I'm for, for me to say, come. Come and do this for me. Hmm? Come and do this for me. Come and campaign for me with your pedigree and all that. That your pedigree. Was it built in a day? Was it built in a day? So for me to get that pedigree behind me, let's leave that question mark. It's not something we can be saying on air. Then again, then again, some of them, like Shure, went into politics. Okay? They went into politics. And having been there, they, they lost... Some of them lost that face of being a, a, an activist, human rights activist again. Because they are now politicians. They, are, they have now been genuflating with politicians. So it becomes difficult to say, look, how can you campaign? How can you go out and demonstrate against me? You are my friend now. You are my friend now. is one man, one activist, does not represent the whole of the. The, the, it's not. The, it's, it's not a show. It's not a of the activists that contested. No, no. I know. I know. But are we saying that? Not only him. There are a lot of them I'm that sorry. were also part of. I'm that, sorry. Are you that saying are, that? Are part that, of structures. Hold on. Are you telling me that 
For example, I as a journalist who's very outspoken, who asks the questions that everybody's afraid of asking, decide to run for office because I think that if I'm in that office, there are certain things I'm going to change. Does yeah. it mean that everybody else behind me goes to sleep because, oh, she's in office, there's nothing else to fight no, no, for? No, that's, that's no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this. You see, some of them had gone into politics. When I say into politics, not that everybody, every one of them contested, all right? But supporting themselves. Are you telling, right? Are you saying that the bring back our girls would have died a, an instant death because an obvious Kwesili went to run for office? Now let me, no, 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 me no, no, let me tell you what that, happened. Look, are you okay, telling me that it's a good example. the nation builders back, would die because um, a fella de Rotoye went to run for office? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I don't girls, see that excuse as a good enough excuse. Bring back our girls is a good example. Let us. But let they're us, not dead. They're see, out there. Let us. Let us. Let us dissect. Bring back our girls. Who was the leader of Bring Back Our Girls? It wasn't Ezekiel right? Exactly. But it's, she was a front. It was this lady who is now the MD of uh, MPA. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that that lady has become the MD of MPA. What was given to Ezekiel Zeli? Nothing. What does that matter? Eh? It matters. Because, because all of them, listen. Are we campaigning? All of them. I, 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 are you telling, I'm sorry, I'm a bit confused and I need you to explain to me. So you're telling me that every CLO member that's out there pushing for this and that to be done is trying to get an appointment? Uh, it, it, it depends. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen. You mentioned bring back our guests now. And that is why I want us to use bring back our, our guests as an example. Then from there, you can even draw, draw, draw your conclusions. Do you, you can also draw your conclusions. Look at what happened in between that particular group. Look at what happened between that particular group. Where are they again? Oh, since, since that lady had been given that appointment, the group had not been coming, they had not been forthcoming as it used to be. Because, again, again, when they were saying, bring back our girls, who are those girls? Chibo girls. And then, of course, we had the other girls. Chibo girls. It was first of all Chibo girls. Yes. We they have started bringing back our girls before that of uh, Dapchi also happened all right now bring back our girls those chibo girls what are also the underlining factors what are also the underlining factors remember the principal listen the principal of that school the principal of that school where is she now the principal of that school when that incident happened where is she now those are issues that we all need to look at all right. And so the underlying so, factor. Listen, so, so the your, underlying factor so your of each so organization your, need to be so, understood before you can say yes. Whether they are, Mr. They, Dyer, they, Mr. Dyer. So you're telling me, or you're trying to buttress the the fact that our politicians have infiltrated civil society, and hence the reason why they're almost non-existent. Oh yes. I I, I was asking. Oh yes. That is time. that I is just does it. To say yes or no. That is does it. The civil society have been infiltrated. And that's why I, I decided to use that analogy of bring back our girls. Okay, let's come back to the issue of Shore and Dasuki. For an ex-NSA boss, we don't know what next for him is. But for Shore, there are people who are still skeptical about what the future might be. Remember, he was released a few minutes, and then after that, he was taken back into custody. Can we trust that the federal government will keep their word this time and let due process or the court processes happen as they should, unfeathered? And for the NSA boss, shall we hear the end of this? Yeah, before I come to NSA boss, let me first of all pay that off show, right? What is happening between the government now and Shiwere is nothing other than insurgency 
counter insurgency. What am I saying so? Shure had, was in the vanguard of those that brought in Buhari in the first tenor. Mm -hmm. Okay? So along the line, they must have known each other one on one and each other's capacity. And this is the same Shure that now contested against this same Buhari. So that means something must have gone amiss in between them before you can say you are not performing. I'm going to contest against you. Something must have gone amiss. So what now went amiss is what we are now seeing playing out. There are a lot of undercurrents. Again, you're insinuating. I'm not. In, I'm, and the reason why Shore is being held in custody is because he had a problem with the president. I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. What, what I'm saying, saying is he contested against the president based on his own knowledge. But look. I supported you the other time. Probably what we agree that we do, you are not doing it or whatever. Then I got to contest against you, which he did. Now, you know, look at it. Yes, I lost the election. I lost a, the election with you. But you are not still doing what I want you to do. Then I got to revolt against you. Revolt from revolution. Mm -hmm. And it was using day of rage. Hashtag day of rage. And he was even saying by tomorrow, there won't be no DSS again. By tomorrow, there won't be any army again. What does that portend? As you are, as you are, if you are holding a gun, and I'm holding a knife, and we have been friends before, and I'm now coming to you, look, I've got to stab you because you have done something that I don't like. And you can see in me that I, I was serious coming to stab you, and you have a gun. What will you do with that gun? Interesting. Okay, so before we go, because what you're trying to say now, or what's playing out is there are better ways of going about a revolution of sorts or a change, and that Shore must have erred in how he... He went about it. it. Yeah. The whole way he went about it. And then it's utterances. But then, there are ways in which also you can handle it through the court. Court now say release him on bail. Release him on bail. Then you can now continue with your whatever. Then if you are finding him wanting, that you don't want to release him on bail, let that court also proclaim it that he cannot be released on bail. Okay. But then as he has been released on bail, let him also follow the, the bail, bail conditions. conditions. Uh, of course, so that remains to be seen. Now, when that story broke, of course, Nigerians were on it on social media. It was trending, it's still trending. Let's take a look at some of the tweets and reactions of Nigerians on social media. Okay, Chikero here says, those praising the federal government for releasing Shore and Sambo Dasuki are not only foolish, but are also stupid, he says. It took the Congress of Award Power, that's the US Congress, to bend this iron you call a president. He never listened to the, all the good and bad advices in Nigeria. He doesn't care, he said. Tenny G here says, I believe the release of Shore and Dasuki are a reaction to the lesser from the US. That, that being the case, there should be no mention of respect for the rule of law. If the federal government had respect for the rule of law, they would have been released before now. We still are far from the mark, she said. Uh, Mr. Brosh here says, uh, it is very, very ironic that an order of the court cannot be obeyed, but an order of the executive can be adhered to. Buhari's Nigeria, he said. Um, all right, more, more messages on Twitter. Let's see. Uh, I think um, Isoko brother here says, we won. Every one of us that spoke out against the unjust incarceration, uh, Dasuki, Shore, the war, though, is not yet over, but we will savor this. Hmm. I don't know, but yes, the most important mixed one, reactions. Yeah, the most important one that uh, caught my attention was the one from uh, whoever who said, "We only listen to those the executive outside the country rather than the people here." Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, that is because if you even see Buari. The President uh, Buhari or Major General Buhari, whichever one we want to be calling him now, most of his policy statements, right, since when he had been in government, were always being made from outside the country. Look at the other time when, he's, oh, really? when he was talking about, look, 
the the youths are lazy. Even the recent one about uh, free visa, he announced it in uh, Egypt. So in closing. In closing, in closing we, we need in, to wrap in, up. In, clo in closing this chapter, well, I will only advise the president to please keep on respecting Nigerian citizens through the rule of law. We have a constitution. We have okay. a constitution. Okay. And let our constitution, that is one to uphold. Let it prevail always. All right, Dayo Kaede is a political technocrat. She's not going anywhere. When we come back, we'll be talking about uh, the United States talking uh, to Mr. President about interfering in um, issues of religion and other matters. We'll come back and we'll talk about it. Stay with us.